Well, hello again, and welcome everyone to the third uh, summit on media and peace building. Um, I'm actually happy to report back some progress. Um, the Congress is actually looking at a bill, considering a bill uh, called the International Documentary Exchange Act, uh, which is the kind of out of the box thinking on public diplomacy that we've been talking about for the last three summits. The bill would bring the work of American independent filmmakers to uh, television broadcasts broadcasters abroad, and in a two-way exchange, bring uh, international, independently produced uh, documentaries to Americans. Um, this is the kind of uh, citizen, dis citizen diplomacy that we've uh, been talking about in our summits that would facilitate uh, changes, exchanges of perspectives and insights and ideas and, uh, that, and experiences that really undergird uh, good communication and, of course, uh, public diplomacy. Um, I'm Sally Pfeiffer, uh, President and CEO of Independent Television Service, um, which has been doing that kind of work in the U.S. for almost 20 years, supported by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Uh, we're delighted that uh, Pat Harrison, who's the CEO and President of uh, CPB, will be here later to introduce our storytelling panel. And we're also thrilled that Orlando Bagwell, who's the Director of media, the Media Arts and Culture Unit at Ford Foundation, will be here uh, because it was Orlando, Ford, Hewlett, and MacArthur that actually internationalized ITVS uh, in 2005, uh, helping us to launch a project called the Global Perspectives Project, which is a two-way exchange, uh, which was one of the models and uh, actually proof of concept, we think, for the legislation. Uh, the Global Perspectives Project has now brought in 150 documentaries in this exchange mode, and we're in 18 different countries and in the U.S. on 35 different platforms from PBS to HBO. I know Link TV is here, iTunes, and all the digital platforms. Uh, what we've learned uh, in, uh, in terms of the realities and potential of media and peace building uh, is that obviously global and digital is changing everything. Uh, but television is actually a major force uh, and particularly important in regions uh, where uh, literacy and new digital platforms yet are yet to be fully realized. Um, but agility is critical because uh, obviously we need to be there with traditional media as well as these new emerging uh, medias. But sometimes just on the ground engagement is what's important. We've also learned that truth and authenticity is everything. Uh, and if you combine great storytelling with authentic voices, it's a very powerful combination, uh, which, of course, independents uh, do so well, which is putting a human face on complex issues, fraught issues, where uh, dialogue needs to be opened. Uh, so we're still learning stuff, uh, but we're always amazed and uh, really grateful to our partners at USIP. Uh, thank you so much, Ambassador Solomon and Sh uh, Sheldon Himmelfarb, Tara Sonnenschein. Uh, and in uh, and our, our gang at ITVS, uh, Tamara Gould, who will be, you'll be hearing from later today, who's uh, our Vice President of International, uh, Dennis, Dennis Palmieri, Beatrice Castillo, Eric Martin, who's back blogging. Um, we're also really grateful and thrilled to have you panelists. We've been so excited to, to have you here, and we're intensely grateful to have this level of participation. Um, the world of peace building, uh, media is a strategy actually to bring people together, um, strategies to resolve conflict. These are tall orders for the day, uh, and uh, we thank you so much uh, for participating in this charge uh, and um, are really grateful to Jamie for stepping in uh, to help us uh, guide us through this process. So thank you and welcome.